the inspiring story of Saint Rock, patron saint of dogs and dog lovers. Saint Rock, also known as Saint Rocco, was a nobleman from Montpellier, France, and the only son of the wealthy governor of the city. Born around 1,200 he came into the world with a unique and deep red mark on his chest in the shape of a cross, a sign that the Blessed Virgin Mary had answered his mother's prayers for healing her barrenness. Please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you, and God bless you. From a young age, Saint Rock was deeply religious, fasting twice a week following his pious mother's example. When he was 20, his parents passed away. His father's dying words to him, which he held as a sacred legacy, were, Before all things, devote yourself to the service of God, and meditate diligently on the sufferings of our Divine Lord. Be the stay of the widow, the orphan, and all those in misfortune. Above all, keep yourself from avarice, the source of very many sins. Be eyes to the blind, and feet to the lame. Be a father to the poor, and know that by employing the property which I leave you in works of mercy, you will be blessed by God and man. He stood firm in his resolutions to serve the Lord, with his heart set on the things of heaven. He gave his inheritance to the poor, handed over the city's governance to his uncle, and began a new life as a poor mendicant pilgrim. Free from all earthly cares, Saint Rock joined the Third Order Franciscans, donned the familiar pilgrim's garb, and visited and prayed at the holy places in Rome. Along his journey, he came to a town ravaged by the Black Plague. Saint Rock risked his own life and miraculously cured many simply by making the sign of the cross over them. His healing power continued to manifest in every plague-infested town he passed through on his way to Rome. However, when Saint Rock reached Piacenza, he contracted the deadly disease in his leg. Rather than burden anyone, he retreated to a remote forest hut, commending himself to God. A local nobleman's hunting dog found and befriended him, bringing him food daily and licking his wounds. A spring arose nearby, providing fresh water. This divine providence sustained him until his health was restored. He received divine inspiration to return to his hometown. Returning, Saint Rock found the city at war. He chose to remain poor and unknown, refusing to disclose his identity. His humility led to suspicion, and he was accused of being a spy. Saint Rock did not defend himself, entrusting his fate to God's will. He was imprisoned by his own uncle, who failed to recognize him. According to legend, angels ministered to him in captivity, and he died there five years later. As his end drew near, Saint Rock asked for a priest to administer the last sacraments. The priest witnessed a supernatural light and a radiant captive. After his death, a tablet appeared on the wall, predicting that all who invoked Saint Rock's intercession would be delivered from the plague. His uncle and grandmother identified him by the birthmark on his chest, and he was given a magnificent funeral. A church was built in his honor, and his veneration spread throughout Europe. In 1414, the plague broke out again. The Council Fathers turned to St. Rock, arranging prayers and processions in his honor, after which the plague ceased. St. Rock became a highly regarded saint for his healing powers. St. Rock is the patron saint of dogs, dog owners, knee problems, surgeons, invalids, bachelors, and diseased cattle, and against cholera, plague, skin rashes, contagious diseases, pestilence, and epidemics. His feast day is August 16th, encouragement for Christians. Saint Rock's life is a powerful testament to the Christian virtues of faith, humility, and service. His unwavering trust in God and his selfless care for others, even at great personal risk, inspire us to live out our faith with courage and compassion. As it is written in Matthew 25:40, truly I tell you, whatever you did for one of the least of these brothers and sisters of mine, you did for me. Let us follow St. Rock's example, choosing the way of God and serving those in need with love and humility. And as St. Paul reminds us in Galatians 6-9, let us not become weary in doing good, for at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up. May St. Rock's story encourage us to persevere in our faith and acts of kindness, trusting that God will guide and sustain us on our journey.
please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you and God bless you.